Hi and welcome everybody. This part of the webinar is all about how to use HeyHo to create custom apps for your Facebook page. So I've already included the link to HeyHo. So when you go to HeyHo for the very first time, you have to sign up and set up an account. I've already done that. So the first thing you see once you've gone into your account is you can see your list of fan pages. So I've got a number of pages, but the one I'm working on at the moment is Better Act Now. So I'm going to click the edit button and then you'll have the chance to see what the app screen looks like. So it's really easy to use. These are all the apps that I've currently got on my Facebook page and there's lots of them and some of them are about competitions, some of them are offering free stuff in return for people's email addresses. So you know there's all kinds of different things that you can do but what I would like to do is to show you how to create a custom contest page. So I'm going to start from scratch. So I'm going to click the new tab button and I'm just going to call that competition and create tab. And what I'm going to need to do next is go and find that new tab. There it is on the end. So I'll click that. And the first thing I probably will want to do is to make the page or the app a little bit deeper. So you can pull down and make it as deep as you want. Then we're going to add some widgets to this page. And all the widgets are showing up here on the top right hand corner. So if I click the widgets button, you can see that there are widgets for adding a LinkedIn share button. You've got uh, an opportunity to add a YouTube video. There are so many different widgets. You can add a PayPal button if there's something you want to sell. But I think what I would like to do is show you the contest widget. So I'm going to click with the mouse on the context contest button and drag it onto the page and then let go. And if I need help, I can ask for help or in this case, I'm just going to click the apply button. And there you have it. The contest page has been created. Now I'm going to show you how you can change some of these things and customize it a bit, customize it a bit. So first of all, there's a picture of an iPad because this is an iPad giveaway contest. So I'm going to give away one of my training CDs. So you can either with any of these, if you like, widgets on the page, you can either edit them with this cog button or you can use the cross to delete it. So I'm going to remove that and replace it with another image. So yes, I would like to remove that widget. So I'm going to come over here now to image, select it. I'm going to go and choose a file and I'll choose one of my training CDs and click open. And when you're adding images, you can also include a hyperlink. So if anyone was to click on the image, it would take them to a website or wherever you want them to go. But I'm just going to just use it as it is. So save changes. Now there's the picture. I can come into the corner and make it a bit smaller. I can use the mouse to drag it and drop it to the right position. So it's really easy to use. We've got a couple of text boxes here. This text box is full of Latin text. So I'm going to pop along to a Word document. Just grab some text. Just copy that pop back over to HeyHo and then I'm going to click the cog this time. Now you can't see the text because it's white on white so I'm going to just highlight, there it is, and then paste, control V, paste it in, save changes and you'll see that the text is black so I don't like that, I need to change it. So I'm going to come and highlight and there's a button on here which will enable me to choose the colour 
So I'm going to come right to the top and set it to white or close to white and save changes. So again, like when we did the image and we resized it, I'm just going to resize that text box. That text box, I'm quite happy with that. But this one, the iPad giveaway, that's an image rather than an actual text box. So I'm going to get rid of that, remove it. I'm going to pop back over into Word. I'm just going to grab some text there and back into Hey Ho. And this time I'll use the text widget. Click it, type in the text. Now I already know that's not going to be the right colour, so I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to choose a pink shade, I think this time, and set and save changes. And again, I'll probably need to just readjust this and line it up. And there you have it. And in the bottom, you have got the countdown widget. So if you decide it's going to be a two day competition, you can count down the days and the hours and the minutes. So if I click the cog on that widget, you can see that's where you would set the days. So let's say I want this competition to end on Friday the 17th of May and save changes and it adjusts itself. So it's now just 23 hours to go. So that's how you can build up your page with all the different widgets. I'm just going to add one more widget for you in the bottom here. I'm just going to pull this down. You see how easy it is to increase the size of your page. So I'm going to come back to widgets and I'm going to select that fan review widget. I'm just going to come and see if I can find it along here. Just scroll this over here until I find fan reviews. There it is. Click it, drag it onto the page and then let go. And I don't need to do anything. I've already linked Heyo with my fan review app. So I just click save changes and I'll just adjust this to make it fit the lower half of the window. There we are. And you can choose to show as many fan reviews as you wish by just resizing it. Perfect. OK, so that's how to build a custom app using HeyHo. Now, once you've created it, you've built it, you're now going to publish it. So you click the publish button and it asks you if you want to use that tab title name. You can add an image as well. If you click the image button, you will have to find an image that's exactly 111 pixels by 74 pixels. Otherwise, nothing will upload. And in the past, that's taken me a lot of time to get the right size image for my custom apps. But for now, I'm just going to click the quick publish. So that's being published now. The next thing I'll want to do is go and take a look at what that looks like on Facebook. So once it's published, I'll click the view on Facebook and that's going to take me straight to my Facebook page that I've just created the competition. OK, and there it is. And what we can do is we can have a look at that app in the main Facebook area. So if I click Better Act Now, you can see this is my business page. I'm just going to hide this top half, the admin panel a moment so that you can see here all the different tabs. So that's the one that was running the 48 hour competition one. But if I click the little down arrow, then the one that I've just created is this one here, this competition. It hasn't actually got an image yet, but if I wanted to move it around and maybe add that to the top part, to those the, the important ones, the ones right at the top, I click the pencil and then I can edit it. And from here, you can see that what I could do is I can swap position. So if I want to move it up, let's say I want to swap it with the likes app, it'll move up and so on. So you can move it around 
and the other thing you can do as well you can come down and edit settings here you can give it a new name you can give it a new custom tab image so all of that is possible inside Facebook as well as well as doing it in HeyHo so that's how to create a custom app on Facebook so my intention now is to show you how some of these apps look and some of the widgets that I've got on them so let's start over here with these better know-how webinars this app now what I've done here is I've literally created a widget or selected a widget that allows you to put a web address onto the page so for example if I click the cog what you'll see is all I did was I chose an iframe widget and it then en enabled me to put a web link in there so I actually put a link to a particular offer on one of my websites and it was as easy as that so you know if if you ever want to do that it's so straightforward I'm going to actually demonstrate that so if I click the new tab and I'm going to call it website it's not a very creative name create tab and I'll go and find that page I've just created and what I'm going to do I'm going to find the iframe widget so I need to click widgets and I need to browse over here and go and see if I can find this iframe one let's just take a look so start over here there is iframe drag it drop it and what I need to do there now is to put in the name of the website um, I'm going to put in my corazonit.com site and click save changes oh I think I'll have display scroll bars um, I'm not going to add a yes let's add a cover image as well that will enable you then to choose a file but remember about those files they've got to be a hundred and eleven by seventy seven so I think I'll leave that for now and just click save changes and it really is as easy as that that is now pulling information from my website onto Facebook how easy was that um, and so it's a live feed if I was to change my website this would automatically be updated and so what I'm doing here is pulling this down resizing it so everything shows um, so 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 easy so if you've got a page let's say a page on your website which is offering all your products and services then you know it would be really easy to create this in HeyHo and have that then available for people on Facebook and remember all you need to do is when you're ready all you need to do is click the publish button and I'm gonna go quick publish and then if I want to see what that looks like on Facebook I'll just click view on Facebook and there you can see the website showing inside Facebook as easy as that let's just pop back to Heyo and I'll show you one more let's have a look at some of the ones I've already created let's see what would be a good one 20 minute marketing now this has been built up with a picture that's a picture that's a picture as well I've got an image of the arrow I've got a text box there and what you can see here is sign up for your email marketing video give me all your details and you will have instant access to this email marketing training and how this was made if I click the cog let's just have a look see if I can get hold of that I might have to resize that a moment if I click the cog you can see that that is some HTML code which I have been able to copy from the provider that creates forms for me now you may be using MailChimp works exactly the same way I happen to use Swift page but 
lots of other providers give you the opportunity to create web forms and once you've created a web form you can just lift the code copy it to the clipboard and then come along to your um, heyo your app creator and it's this thing here this little button here click it paste in your code and it's away to go it's as simple as that so I am not going to save that because I've readjusted it so let's make sure that's back to normal so I think hopefully you have got a clear idea now of the power of building apps in Facebook shown you a few examples but do go and have a look at some of the ones on my page for for other ideas and get in touch if you get stuck or if you want to ask any questions.